No Longer at Ease by Chinua Achebe tells the story of Obi Okonkwo, a young Nigerian man who is torn between traditional Igbo culture and the influences of British colonialism and Western education. The novel opens with Obi on trial for accepting a bribe. The narrative then flashes back to recount the circumstances that led to Obi's downfall. Obi's story begins with his return to Nigeria after studying in England, where he received a university education paid for by the Umuofia Progressive Union, UPU, a group from his home village. The UPU expects him to be a symbol of progress and pride and to support the community that funded his education. On his return, Obi is assured a job in the colonial civil service, and he is excited for the future, eager to bring change and modern values to Nigeria. However, Obi's high aspirations are met with the stark realities of Nigerian society. He is caught between the expectations of the UPU and his own desire for autonomy. Additionally, over the years, Obi has accumulated a debt to the UPU and a British bank, leaving him financially strained. Obi's upbringing and education have separated him from traditional Igbo customs, and he is no longer at ease with the bribe-taking and corruption that seems endemic to the civil service. Despite his intentions to resist, he finds himself drawn into the very practices he disdains. In his job at the scholarship board, Obi encounters various individuals who try to bribe him to secure scholarships for their relatives, and he initially refuses these advances. Social pressure mounts as Obi grapples with the difficulties of his role. His father, Isaac Okonkwo, a devout Christian, disapproves of many traditional ways, has struggled to give Obi opportunities. Isaac's inflexibility and past rejection of his own father's traditional beliefs create a rift between Obi and the older generation. Further compounding Obi's troubles is his romantic relationship with Clara, a beautiful and educated Nigerian nurse, who is also an Osu, an outcast, according to traditional Igbo culture. Obi's mother, Hana, upon hearing of their intention to marry, is devastated, fearing the taboo of marrying an Osu. When Obi's mother falls ill, she makes him promise not to marry Clara, and he agrees, causing Clara to leave him. As Obi's personal life spirals downward, his financial struggles worsen due to his father's school fees for Obi's siblings and the expenses of his mother's hospital care. Rationally, he knows that accepting bribes is wrong, but the mounting pressure leads him to rationalize corrupt practices as a means to pay off his debts. Eventually, he succumbs to temptation and begins accepting bribes to solve his financial troubles. When Clara discovers she is pregnant, Obi arranges for an abortion, but complications arise and Clara is hospitalized. Overwhelmed by guilt and the consequences of his actions, Obi's disillusionment deepens. His mother dies and he must deal with the traditional costly burial rites, further straining his financial situation. Ultimately, Obi's world collapses around him when he is caught and exposed for accepting a bribe. The novel comes full circle as Obi faces the loss of his career, his dreams, and his integrity. It is in this shattering moment of disgrace that Obi fully confronts the consequences of his actions and the irony of his situation, a man educated to serve his country, yet ensnared by the corruption he sought to eradicate. The trial at the beginning of the novel holds Obi accountable not only for his personal failings, but also symbolizes the challenges faced by a generation attempting to find its place in a society transitioning from colonial to independent rule. Obi's story reflects the broader struggles of a country try trying to merge traditional values with modern ideas, all while navigating the complexities and challenges that come from such change. No Longer at Ease offers a poignant exploration of the conflict between tradition and modernity. Through Obi Okonkwo's tragic tale, Achebe portrays the ethical and cultural dilemmas experienced by those educated abroad and returning to their homeland. It underscores the difficulty of adapting and integrating new values into a society that holds tightly to its roots, addressing the rigorous expectation to be agents of change and progress while remaining true to one's heritage. The novel ends with a sense of tragedy and inevitability, leaving readers to ponder the costs of progress and the compromises made by individuals caught between two worlds.